Hello everyone and welcome to episode 31 of my Equivalent Exchange Industrial Craft and Build Craft Let's Play series. <clears throat> Today's episode is going to be built around what I told you guys I would be doing in episode 30. I'm going to be building a factory that basically turns glowstone blocks into diamonds using Industrial Craft and Equivalent Exchange, specifically the Industrial Craft recipe for industrial diamonds, which uses coal. Basically going to be converting glowstone blocks into glowstone, into redstone, into coal, macerating the coal in some macerators, which I've already built, combining it with flint, then I'm going to be compressing them and combining them together to make a coal chunk, which will then be compressed again into an industrial diamond, and finally combined with a uh, philosopher's stone to change an industrial diamond into a regular diamond. So you can see I've already started building some of the, re, uh, the stuff I'm going to need. It's all items you've seen me build before, so I just didn't videotape myself building this stuff, but you can see some of the uh, ingredients that went into making this. I am, unfortunately, getting rather low on iron, so I'm going to probably just convert some gold into that. Gotta love equivalent exchange for that purpose. And, uh, made some automatic crafting tables, some redstone engines. I'm going to need some pipes, which I believe I have some of. Definitely going to need some iron. Gold and some diamond pipes, and I'm going to need some redstone pipes as well, because uh, the design I have in my head, I will need to do one of those alternating switch things like I showed you guys in my lava cell factory. So for now, I'm just going to deposit some items I don't need to carry around with me. Yeah, I think I should be good. And I'll be back shortly to show you guys how I'm going to do this. Okay guys, so you can see my inventory is basically completely full at this point. <clears throat> and I'm going to head down underground I think I should grab my mining drill. The dark matter pickaxe is great, but the one thing that the mining drill has over it is that the mining drill can mine through stone and dirt alike. So I'm just going to clear out this room a little bit. I also have some glowstone on me. Good, because I'm going to be doing a little bit of this. This is going to be my input chest. This is where I'm going to put my glowstone, or obsidian, or gravel, or flint, or whatever else I'm going to be storing in there. And let's drop off some dirt, and some cobble, because there's plenty under there. I'm also going to clean up my inventory a little bit as best I can at the moment. Um, just too much junk floating around in here that I probably don't need all of. redstone engine and a wooden pipe because we want to make sure everything that uh, we've got going on here comes through and I think I have my wrench. I don't have my wrench. Okay, so I want to grab a piece of obsidian here. You can see I've got way more than enough at the moment, so I'm probably just going to steal a couple of these blocks. Turn this guy back on. There we go. Plenty of obsidian. I'm gonna just go store that in my chest. And keep in mind, I can always just turn that back on later when I need to get more obsidian. If I need more obsidian. That's a lot. Alrighty then. I do want one piece with me, and I'm also going to need a piece of gravel, and a piece of flint. That should be good, hopping on down. I think my recorder was off, but I just hooked up a wooden pipe, redstone, gold pipe, bada bang. Now I'm going to have a diamond pipe here, 
basically going to have two directions for this stuff to go. This way and this way. And the way this diamond pipe will work is that the green output will be for flint, gravel, and obsidian. And the blue output will be for glowstone. That way glowstone will come this way and get all the processing done on it. And gravel, obsidian, and flint will go this way and intersect in certain spots where needed. Sounds cool. The next thing I need to do is get some power in this room because I will have some industrial craft machines. Went ahead and made a MFE to store some energy. And I need to go find my power line, which should be somewhere off in this direction. Okay, guys, I found my MFSU down here. Remember, this guy is sending all his power pretty much as much as he can, straight over to my uh, mass fabricator back here on the back end of my house. You can see it's nighttime out there. I'm just going to intercept this line. So again, this will be excess power flowing through here, but I've mostly got, um, you know, excess power just fine. Doing all right with that. Um, it's any, uh, it's basically splitting from my solar tree. So my solar tree power is splitting powering the MFSUs up in my house. So I'm just going to steal this power line and use some of it to charge up my MFSE, MFE. So, gonna, all right, so let's get going. I ran and grabbed a couple Philosopher's Stones. I have some extra in my chests upstairs. That looks good. I should probably clear out my inventory just a bit because I have so much junk laying around. This is a complicated build, remember? First things first. Is this guy going to have a problem running? Yeah, I don't want him doing that. In fact, that's fine. I do want to be able to see my power output for a bit, so I'm just going to work around him. Alright, so. want some gold wires, or gold uh, pipes where possible. Nice. So the first thing we need, remember, anytime we're going to use a Philosopher's Stone, it needs to be in a chest. And then we'll place down our automatic crafting table next to it. The automatic crafting recipe is Glowstone Block, Philosopher's Stone, Glowstone Dust. Nice. need a significant amount of Philosopher's Stones for this build, so I'm going to go make some more in a moment. And our wooden pipes. Excellent. And then I need a wrench. And this guy needs another treasure's chest with a Philosopher's Stone in it. to get some more Philosopher's Stones real quick. There's your recipe. That looks pretty good. We'll head back down. This recipe will be Philosopher's Stone plus Glowstone equals Redstone. Nice. Probably going to need a bigger room here. But let's get cracking on the next one. Redstone will go into here, and we need another chest, because again, this is a Philosopher's Stone recipe. And the recipe is Philosopher's Stone, and two, three redstone equals coal. Doesn't matter what shape it's in. So now we've got to the point where we're producing coal. Now I need to expand this room some. So let me do that real quick. 
quick. Alright, so as you can see, I found my, uh, I think that's my obsidian room up there. So I just replaced it so that I can have this nice little open space. Let's get some light going on. Okay, looking sharp so far. So now I've got my coal, right? So I want to output my coal. Coal is going to be pumped out, and I want him pumped out into these dudes. If you remember from my build upstairs, I'm going to need some redstone wire and some iron piping and all that cool stuff. Okay, so let me go build the uh, timer that I need for this, or the switch block. Recipe? Probably not. Let me build it real quick off air. Okay, I think, I hope I'm remembering this recipe correctly. It goes something like this. Yeah, toggle latch. Nice. I'm impressed. I remembered that off the top of my head. But, one nice thing about those uh, latch recipes and stuff is they all do kind of make sense. Like, that's one nice thing about that mod, is that they made a um, nice bit of sense in the way and I want this guy running to here, which is where my toggle latch will go. And that will be my iron pipe. Like so. That's how I want my compressors to look. So now my compressors are going to be sitting here, like this. One, two, three. And now as items flow through here, it should toggle latch between those three outputs and run into each of my compressors. Now I need to run some wire from my MFE over here to my compressors. Get that going. Okay, stupid, stupid direwolf forgot the low voltage transformer and blew up his compressors. If you've ever wondered to yourself, hey, what happens if I do not run the proper equipment, the low voltage transformer, that's what happens. <laughs> uh, well, isn't Direwolf a dummy? Yes, he is. So, before I ever get to do that again, I have to rebuild a couple things, and I almost died there. That was cool. Let's put down my low voltage transformer. <laughs> Smart, huh? my machines, and I'll probably have to rebuild that little switch latch thingy that got destroyed. So let me go redo some stuff. Oh wow, it even knocked off my uh, redstone torches up there. That was almost a bad deal. Okay. Whew, close one. Let me go do some stuff and recoup from that. Okay, so I rebuilt my toggle latch here. I'm gonna need a few more compressors real quick. I remember they're not terribly hard to make. Compressor, where's that recipe? There it is. Yeah, let me build them real quick. 
Okay, re real quick, just built up some machine blocks, some electric circuits, and I just need some stone. Three compressors are back. Nice. And actually, I shouldn't have even been using compressors. What a dummy I am. I'm supposed to be putting macerators down there. But, anyway. So yeah, this thing is supposed to come through to here. Use my toggle latch. Like so. Wood. Where's my iron pipe? Splitting up into three. You might be saying, why not put the three in a row next to each other? Because if I did that, as soon as I came over one, it would uh, be weird. So, like, if this was straightforward like this, all these black pipes here would be messy and, like, you know, interacting with each other. So that wouldn't be cool. All right, now I need macerators, not compressors. Stupid dire wolf. And this time, when I run the wire, because I have my low voltage transformer, I'm not stupid anymore. Hey, hey, hey. no more problems. Let's make sure that the power is running here. This guy's full, which is good. And we'll head back over to here. These guys are not getting energy. Alright, I think there's a bug with voltage transformers sometimes. You have to, like, clip the wire and rerun it. Ah, look, now we've got energy. Good. Alright, so these guys are all powered now. And of course, they all need outputs. So this is becoming quite a big room to build. Let me dig out some more space. Okay, now that my coal's macerating like a champ, I can place down these guys and hook up some more wooden pipes. Placement will be tricky, but I'll figure it out. This stuff has been macerated. We can feed it all into a crafting table. So let's get that going. Pump this here, this here, this here, and an iron pipe like so. Give that iron pipe a good whack. Now everything will merge together and output here. We can get ourselves a nice little crafting table. Place down. And I do need some cold dust. So let me go get some. This guy knows how to make a coal ball. Nice. And of course, it's output time. Okay, now my coal ball needs to be compressed, remember? So, where is my old friend, the compressor? I should only, I think, need one of these. Because remember, my macerators are going to be going. It's going to it's going to need a couple cycles per macerator for the compressor to go. So I'm going to drop down my compressor here, like so. And I'm going to run some wiring for that. Oh boy, I need more cable.
That should be plenty, don't you guys think? It better be. Even gonna deposit some of this stuff right there. Don't need that extra, I'm sure. Okay, back down into the dungeons. Um, next thing I'm gonna need to do is actually make one of these compressed coal balls, or, or actually the eight of them that I need. Um, so let's get cracking on that. I'm gonna need a little bit more macerated coal. So let me get ready to do this real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so what am I doing? Um, making the eight coal chunks that I'm going to need. So let's go drop them in my compressors, because I'm going to need them for my automatic crafting table. Basically, I'm going to have to say, hey, look, uh, this is how you build this thing. So while that's going, I'm also going to grab another stack of coal and just throw them in one of these macerators. So let me let that cook for a minute. Okay, see my compressed coal balls down there, my obsidian. That's going to be in my automatic crafting table. So what should happen now is this compressor is going to make those compressed coal balls. So let's output from it. And I should note that it's possible that I'll need to uh, rearrange a little bit of this wiring and piping because it's, it's really dependent upon how these guys respond to things. I need to put the inputs on the top? I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, <clears throat> now that I've got this guy creating these, I need to put down another automatic crafting table. With eight of them. And some obsidian. Cool. Now I'm also going to place down next to this guy a treasure chest. And way back here, I have one of these guys that I should put a chest on. This one, too. should have a treasure chest. And these are where the um, excess obsidian and flint are going to be stored. And that's going to be piped in all the way from this system over here. So, but I'm not going to do that just yet. You know what I actually need to do? And that's a problem for me. I need to rework this. I need a gold pipe here. I do. How am I going to fix that without redoing this whole room? <laughs> I think I have an idea. I forgot I needed a gold pipe. So. What happened to my little switch block thing? I know I knocked it off. Did it get destroyed? Oh well, let me figure out how I'm going to fix this, I'll be right back. Okay, I think this will work, and I hope it does, because I don't want to have to redo this whole room. Put this guy here. And then my red wiring can go like so. like a charm. That should be cool. Alright, I hope that works. We'll test it in a little bit. Okay, now that I've got my coal chunk coming out of here, I need to put down another redstone torch. Another engine. Pump this guy out. into another compressor, which will of course need some electric power. Beautiful. That guy 
guy's got the power he needs, as does this guy, as do all these guys. So now this guy should be producing an industrial diamond for me, which is great. Compressed cobalt balls goes into a cold chunk, which then becomes an industrial diamond. From there, we're wrapping up now, guys. start sending it back, but along the way, I put down a chest, and I need two more Philosopher's Stones. One to replace the one that I carry with me, and one to go into the automatic crafting table. Huh. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. I need to go get my Philosopher's Stone back out of there so I can make more redstone. There we go. Philosopher's Stones for me. Back downstairs. Now I do need to make myself an industrial diamond, but I'll wait um, until I test this whole system out, and it'll make an industrial diamond for me, hopefully, and that should be good. So, um, Philosopher's Stone, Philosopher's Stone. What'll happen is industrial diamonds will build up in here until I take one out and put it in here to get the regular diamond. First place I need something is here. I need my flint for this guy. So let's get him. Diamond pipe for sorting. And do I have any flint on me? Of course I don't. We'll grab some obsidian for the next step as well while I'm up here. If I can get up here. There we go. Alright, grab a piece of obsidian. We're gonna need a few pieces of gravel. Because remember, I want to have an automatic crafting table that converts my flint my gravel into flint, which means, of course, I'm going to need two more of these guys. So, first thing to go through here, probably going to need a little bit more room at some point. Could probably just break it off here. Sounds reasonable. I'm gonna need more flint and obsidian then, if I do it that way. Okay, so the way I want this to go is that blue will be gravel, or 
course, I need another one of those. I'll go get it in a minute. And green will be flint and obsidian. And then here will be an automatic crafting table. And yeah, let me go get a couple more items. Okay, so made myself another chest real quick. But there, I'm going to place an automatic crafting table next to it. This guy is going to have one of my Philosopher's Stones, and this guy is going to have the three gravel with a Philosopher's Stone to make a flint, which will then be output like this. Okay. Oh, I need another redstone engine, too. Goodness, I'll be right back. Okay. Made myself a redstone engine real quick. crazy contraption is about ready to go. Let's say that I want my output chest to be here, so I'm going to make another chest real quick. Wood, wood, wood. So this will be the output chest, where everything should wind up when it's done. I think that is a pretty awesome room. What do you say we give it a try? I think that sounds like a plan. So let's test everything real quick right now. Okay, the first things I'm going to put in are my flint, gravel, and obsidian. And they should make their way down. Shooting off in this direction, the flint should shoot out straight that way. The gravel should come in and get converted into some flint. And the obsidian should continue along. see things slow down. I could always place another uh, goldstone block somewhere along here to keep things moving quickly. But that's okay. I'm not in a huge rush. Not yet. Flint will hang out in this chest. Waiting to be turned into coal balls. And the obsidian will carry along and wind up in this chest waiting to be turned into a coal chunk. Very nice. And where's that flint that was created by my gravel? Right there. Thank you. For the grand finale, the glowstone. Down it comes, and zips straight on into this chest, where the glowstone will become glowstone dust. Glowstone dust will be converted into redstone. And redstone will be converted into coal. The coal will be shot along here and evenly distributed. That's a little weird. I'm gonna have to fix that. And that, for that matter, none of these are working. Alright, 
So I guess the input for compressors is not the side, which makes sense because it should be the top. So let me correct that blunder real quick. our stuff, right? I'm gonna have to use uh, some iron pipes here, like so. And what we're gonna wind up having to do is an iron pipe like this. That face is down. And an iron pipe like this. down, and we can probably do a cobblestone pipe up here, this guy will have to be an iron pipe that faces up, and this guy will have to be an iron pipe that faces up, oh, that's got to be iron too. Since I know that that was an issue, I'm going to go ahead and wager that putting this guy in the side here is not going to be a good thing, so I will have to correct that. That's alright. I might have to just move these machines forward a little bit. Alright, so my workaround did not have to move this down all the way. It's just to put the uh, redstone engine on the side here and let him work his way into the top. This one I might just move forward a little bit because that won't be a too big deal, will it? Hard to do the same thing, uh, honestly. Why don't I? Industrial craft and build craft let's play series. <clears throat> Today's episode is going to be built around what I told you guys I would be doing in episode 30. I'm going to be building a factory that basically turns glowstone blocks into diamonds using industrial craft and equivalent exchange. 